What's this Silent Hill 2 thing? Konami has no idea what they're doing with the Silent Hill franchise every single time they release a new game, like the recent Ascension title, People Roasted, and of course they're coming out with the Silent Hill 2 remake mm -hmm. that now we're hearing the devs have tried to preserve the authenticity with while adapting it for modern audiences. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, of course, Konami has really been trying to hype up this remake because they want to make a boatload of money off of it, but of course, every time they've released some kind of image or teaser, it's gotten roasted, and we just saw the new gameplay trailer launch because of the... So yeah, I saw the, the trailer. Like, I'm not a big horror game fan, so I'm not that excited about it, to be honest state of play, and people are not happy with what they've seen, but of course they are trying their best to promote it to people, get more eyes on this project, and they really thought trying to market it to a modern audience would work, because they made this tweet, see how the Bloober team devs working on Silent Hill 2 preserved authenticity while adapting a horror classic for modern audiences. Whenever you see terms like modern audiences or, you know, current day standards, things like that, global audiences as well, instant red flags should be raised. Yeah, I agree with that. Anytime that I hear people say that, it's always they're changing it for a stupid reason. Yeah, that yeah, I, I I agree. Modern audiences, get the fuck out of here. Because these are not the words of a company. By the way, like, what, what what's the logic here? It's like so the game was popular and you're remaking the game, but you're making it for modern audiences. Well, wouldn't people want to buy the game because it wasn't for modern audiences? Like, what's the logic? I I don't understand that who is trying to actually preserve authenticity yeah. with a remake. People want the original product just with, you know, new graphics, um, updated gameplay, and, you know, things like better music, higher quality in general. And, of course, mm -hmm. throughout this little, you know, snippet they released on their social media, they do talk about, you know, modernizing you know, gameplay elements, which of course could be decent if they are trying well, to Well, here's a good example of modernizing gameplay elements is Final Fantasy VII, right? The remake of that had action combat when the original game didn't. That's clearly what people want. Like, whenever you want to talk about modernizing, that's what people want to see. They don't want to see them, like, changing the way a character looks because somebody on the developer team is offended over it. Like, what the fuck? Nobody cares about that. Actually, again, stay in the same vein as the original, yeah. but they're also talking about the gameplay being changed to make it competitive in 2024 while they show clips of, like, James running around and simply walking half of the game. Is she gonna play this? Because I'm with gonna. This is walking, which yes, to a certain extent, is going to be. Okay, Silent she's just Hill gonna 2. talk about it. I wanna, li I wanna listen to it myself. I missed it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm very excited for people to play this game. There's no one aspect that I could say that I'm. I want people to experience because I want people to experience all of it. It's okay. such a journey. It's such a big part of our lives, and I just want people to be able to see it. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who have not played the original, but at the same Which is totally fine. ...time to still retain the familiarity of the, of the game that player remembers from 20 years ago. Our goal from the very beginning was to maintain the game's atmosphere while modernizing the gameplay to make it competitive in 2024. I think there's a very big risk of doing that, and I think that Final Fantasy VII does it the best way. And and I haven't played it. I've watched a lot of content about it, but I haven't played it myself. Um, what I would like to see... Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to figure out... Uh, fuck. I'm trying to figure out my shit for my flight. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh, anyway... 
people want to play old games and have the same experience that they had with the old game. So whenever you're remaking an old game, if you are fundamentally changing the gameplay, you are not making the same game. So, for example, with Final Fantasy VII, you can play turn-based just like the game used to be. Or you can play in action combat. But if you choose, you can play the game just like it used to be. I think whenever you fundamentally change gameplay and you change the way that the game works, then it's very different. Yeah, he had Final Fantasy VII remake gameplay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I understand. In the remake, the story remains largely the same. However, with the magic of modern technology, we we're able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest was designing combat. We want to be as faithful as possible uh, to the original game, but also we want players to feel satisfaction while playing, uh, remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. Yeah, a game that gets released, like, fitting into standards. Um, I just... Like, who's standards, right? Who's st like, where are, you, where are you inventing these standards? Because a lot of games, for example, set their own standard. And if you're playing a new, ver like, an old version of the game, the way that I would want to have a game like this designed would be, like, Think about how would you imagine this game to be, like, how did you imagine this game played whenever you were, like, 15 playing it or 12 playing this game? Mm -hmm. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer have much more control over what players see, where they go, and so on. The change for the third-person perspective was a challenge. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world, to show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible, and just make this game richer. Mm -hmm. well, the main thing that requires rethinking was the fog, because it was called classic in the original game, and be the veil that covers the world and, and uh, makes the player to feel even more isolated. Mm -hmm. New technologies gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during the earlier generations of video games. For narrative, this is very visible in facial expressions. We can tell so much through just the subtle changes on characters' faces. The presented gameplay footage shows a... Yeah, the characters do look ugly and weird, for sure. They definitely do, and like you, like you don't... It doesn't have to be like that. Like, Final Fantasy 16 wasn't like that fragment of the city from the beginning of the game and sections in Brookhaven Hospital. The fight against monsters is prepared in a more tactical form, and it's mainly based on the varied designs of the enemies. James is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting your approach to a situation will be the key to success. However, your playing style, among other things, determines what ending you will discover. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that didn't really seem like it was really awful, but, uh, you know, they weren't talking about anything that was, like, really, like, bad or whatever, but I, I, I don't think that the characters look good at all. I don't know why they went with this approach. I have no idea. But when they're really trying yeah. to promote a title like this, you need to show us action, okay? We understand every single game, even the best of the best, like Elden yeah. Rings, are going to have walking elements but you don't see from software showing that walking in their trailers they're well, showing they do have walking but it's like five seconds or ten seconds the trailers three minutes and boss fights and really really cool elements that are going to bring people in and then of course they talk about modernizing designs which mm -hmm. i have shown off already in another video and people have been brutal when it comes to these changes they have seemingly you know shrunk the chest sizes of the nurses we have poor 
Angela being changed, oh Marie God. being altered, instead of having, you know, her stomach area showing and a little bit of cleavage. She's in a like a full black yeah. dress. They just there got extremely lazy with these designs. And this is again why people are not going to be happy. And throughout this, they even basically insult the original by saying they wanted to stay faithful, but also make sure people feel satisfaction while playing as if people didn't feel satisfied with the original mm -hmm. Silent Hill 2. That's the only reason why you got to do this remake is because people love the OG so much and they are getting brutally roasted throughout, you know, the YouTube comment sections and also on Twitter slash X. As you can see, um, the State of Play official release date trailer is sitting at 5.9k likes to 11 thousand dislikes to it's because most of the people that play these games are uh guys they're guys that play these games so whenever they see a character that's not as hot they're going to be mad about it i think this is one of the this is like one of the big problems that a lot of people have with games is that the truth is that the majority of people that play games are guys but a lot of girls are gamers but they're not playing these kinds of games that's the issue is that like there are tons of girl gamers but they're probably not playing this kind of a game this is these are like there are girl games and there are guy games fucking duh just like there's girl movies and guy movies boy toys and girl toys like it's just fucking common sense but these people don't seem to understand that and yes, if you're making a game for a male audience, they're going to want to have hot characters in the game. You'd be surprised. Chicks love horror stuff. Yeah, but like some guys like everything too, right? I mean, like you can always make that argument. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that, that's always how it is. You're misunderstanding a lot of issues this remake though, not just the sex stuff. Yeah, of course I am. Like, I, I don't know everything about the game. Of course not thousand comments as well of people saying this yeah. is not good this is not cool people are also saying basically james is looking a bit like uh but we have leon kennedy at mm -hmm. home i know this has been a pretty big criticism with this title is that they basically just copy and pasted resident evil and while they are similar um they shouldn't be exactly the same and if you put this gameplay in front of me and told me this was resident evil I believe it. I would be instantly. like, oh yeah, yeah it definitely sure. is. Or if you told me, you know, to figure out if it's from a certain, you know, franchise, I would say Resident Evil. I would not be yeah. saying Silent Hill. And uh, in the comment section on X, people are absolutely livid with their, you know, modern audiences comment because, of course, no one wants their favorite games to be adapted for modern audiences. And every time companies release soulless remakes and reboots, they're just proving that our opinions don't matter to them. To remake something mm -hmm. and then put a bloober team and a narrative co consultation company on the job, you have instantly failed. And yeah, I mean, they have put a narrative consultation company on uh, this game. It's called Hit Detection, and they do sensitivity reading, and they do basically design criticisms. They do whatever you want them to do. They have a global presence, they claim, and they, funny enough, say things like, interactive elements to deliver the most comprehensive and accurate insights into the gaming industry, which definitely isn't the case, or they wouldn't exist if they were in touch with the people who are in the gaming sphere. But in the comment section, people are saying things... Yeah, I don't know. B buzzword salad. Yeah, it's so hard for me to know, like, what these companies are actually doing, because, like, they're, they're using these terminologies that are like, this is like you know, whenever you're 19 and you're trying to like write a resume to get a job somewhere and you're trying to like make it sound like you did something more important than just being a group leader for a project at school. And so like you're you're trying to extrapolate that or talk in a general term that people can't immediately, yeah, using big words. So like, what did they really do? I mean, it, it definitely makes me feel like I, I, I don't know. I feel like it's very simple on how to solve this problem. You just make the game the way it was and just make the graphics and the gameplay better. It's very easy. You don't need to change anything else. 
course, is a word salad, making up terms and pushing their agenda. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is like, it's hard for me to, like, if I were to assume so, like, if you want, like, my, like, gut reaction, I think, yeah, they probably did change it for that reason. Definitely. But that's still, like, a, a vibe check, right? I don't really know that. It's like, can you define modern audience for me? Where are yeah. they? Where do you find them? I have the same... Are the modern audiences in the room with us right now? Yeah, I'm going to be totally honest. Like, I, I think any time that I hear the word modern audiences, I assume that they're trying to make it different than what it was and take some sort of, like, edge off of the story because they're worried about, like, three freaks on Twitter getting offended over it. It's always the dumbest fucking reason. Modern audiences don't exist? No, they don't. This is, like, an imaginary thing that, like, companies tell themselves. I feel bad for good developers that, that they have to dev for these dumbasses? Yeah, definitely. Someone explained well. X explained well. They have connections. They get hired. Uh, in fact, cl company collapse, and they move on to the next disease. Question. Yeah, I guess so. Modern audiences don't actually exist. People want the same content today that they wanted 20 mm -hmm. years ago. People do not want a modern video game. People simply want a video game. Sometimes we even see D makes released that are more akin to the games of the one. past, I remember that. like PlayStation One or PlayStation Two graphics, and people absolutely love them. There are yeah. no problems with that, but. It's releasing in modern time, and I'm playing video games, so am I part of a modern audience? Or are you actually referring to people that are sensitive snowflakes on social media? Are you referring to outraged individuals who will cancel you? Yeah, or are you also referring to gameplay elements that are really boring? And that's another element, too, where it's like, I don't really know what you're talking about with this. Over the smallest things because you didn't yeah. you know sanitize your game and sanitize your content companies do not differentiate and there definitely are two different descriptions of a modern audience but judging by this product and many other products that i talk about on this channel we can see clear as day who they're actually talking about uh heel vs babyface said doa modern audiences oh fuck off it's so true people do not again want a well i think that people should uh anytime that i see a game doing this i stop taking it seriously and i i i i think that like all customers like everybody has the ability to make this stop is just stop buying these games stop buying games that are being made and turned into some sort of device for messaging like i don't want to deal with this it's weird I, I just I just don't want to do I, I don't want to have these people talk like this is just no just make the game that's the only real answer yeah exactly modernized silent hill mm -hmm. that's just not what people want to show up and buy people are also pointing out the fact that Angela's new design really does seem like a self insert and she just looks awful she truly looks like mm -hmm. she has been going through very very hard times over the past i don't think that there's any way to confirm this at all like i really don't i think these comparisons are stupid personally i don't think that this woman here at playstation was like make the character look like me i don't think that happened there's probably 10 other women that worked on the game that look like this too you don't know what they look like you just don't know it you know I, d I think that's bullshit. It's just like, what a surprise that, like, you know, this is what they're doing. Like, it's just, again, I'm just trying to be logical here. Yeah, fuck, who knows? Exactly. No idea. Last couple of years, and it does look like a Sean Benson self-insert. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to Maria, she doesn't look terrible, I don't think. But at the same time, they definitely, you know, scaled back her outfit. They toned her outfit down down a little bit which is really really disappointing to see and honestly at this point while the game does look really pretty when it comes to the visuals that's about all that i can say their teasers and trailers have been really really bad so far them promoting it for modern audiences does not help its case at all and to top it all off now that we know hit detection a narrative consultation company a sweet baby ink 2.0 has helped on this game i foresee them not getting the sales that they were originally expecting for this so of course well, that's that's hopefully what would happen I, I i think that again like 
for me, I'm kind of fatigued from having like a game developer try to like push like an agenda or like try to and I think it's also like a lot of games have agendas in them, but they're done in a way that doesn't feel patronizing. Like, for example, Final Fantasy 16, there was like a lot of slavery and stuff like that in it. And there's obviously like an agenda there, but like the agenda is being done in a way that doesn't feel like forced and it doesn't feel like you're being talked down to. Will be keeping my eye on this situation. I will keep uh, continuing to roast the Silent Hill 2 remake if they continue to show off bad, bad trailers and they don't show that they're actually listening to customers. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. But I will yeah. talk to you all again in the next video. Really soon yeah I, I i can see definitely the way that a lot of people feel about this obviously a lot of the uh the people on youtube are tired of this i think people in general are tired of and this is like another issue is that a lot of game developers and people that work at games companies are like these are not like paragons of moral virtue right it's like you see these people and like these people like they're just looking like your average you know like kind of like average punk millennial right like, is this really somebody that you want dictating to you, like, what you need to think and feel? Like, what's really going on here? And also, like, it, it, it's not even the fact that it's happening. It's the fact that, like, it's, I, I think another big problem that I think people have with it, there's the video. I, I this, this is a good video. Um, another problem that I think people have with it is that whenever you have any sort of, like, kind of, you don't, whenever you don't like it, they paint the people that don't like it as if they are like these horrible people right these like awful bad gu bad guys and you know they're like oh these people they hate women or they hate you know like uh like something like they're racist or something like that 100 percent not a dev decision it's got to be higher up yeah but those are still the people that represent the company so that's going to be like the company's public face right obviously they'll be boycotting pokemon for 1990s running pro rounds Probably hate on Monster Hunter for having male or female choice. Yeah, I, I'm not talking about heel versus baby face, but um, overall, like, I'm just saying that I think that being patronized like this is is kind of annoying, especially whenever... It, it's like, for example, like, you know that new game? I forgot even... What was that, that? That PlayStation game, that Concord game, right? Was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah, Concord. Like, I don't have a problem with a game like that because, like, yeah, they have, like, the pronouns for the characters in the select screen... But, like, that's a new IP. They can do whatever they want with the game, right? Of course. It's the same as, like, well, you can make Star Blade. Okay, we well, can make Concord too, right? That's the freedom of the market to decide. Uh, however, like, whenever you're taking an existing game and you're changing it to fit your viewpoint, I think that's totally different than making a new IP.